Hi gamers, did you know that today, May 18th, is Global Accessibility Awareness Day? Chances are, unless you struggle with accessibility issues, you probably didn't. And that's okay! But I thought today was the perfect time to bring up some topics around accessibility in Final Fantasy XIV and what everyone can do on a daily basis to make the game more welcoming for everyone who plays. I'm Debbie, and let's get into it! Let's start on a positive note. Honestly, the ability to play a large MMORPG with a controller is huge. It definitely increased my own access to the game, allowing me to sit in a variety of positions, different distances away from the monitor or television, on different pieces of furniture, and even to walk around while running content. That is liberating for people who have chronic pain conditions or an inability to sit at a desk for an extended period of time. With a small menu for accessibility options, it at least offers a sound alternative mode for those who require it with visual alerts, along with color filtering. Another plus is that every element of the UI can be moved and resized within the HUD, allowing people to customize it to what works best for them. With a couple of different menu theme options and some more slated for the future, it isn't an impressive set of accessibility tools, but it's a start. In a PCN article from 10 months ago on the topic of accessibility, Yoshi P is quoted as saying, What we believe is important for more and more players, including those with diverse circumstances, to enjoy playing Final Fantasy XIV is understanding that there are many people with their own particular set of circumstances around the world. That's because without this knowledge and understanding of diversity, the concept and idea of accommodating accessibility in video game development would never have emerged in the first place. Understanding and having knowledge of these factors led on to the implementation of a mode for color filtering and an option to visibly represent sound waves in Final Fantasy XIV. Generally in game development, catching up on the latest information, learnings, and training about diversity tends to be neglected but in Final Fantasy XIV, we'd like to keep up our efforts to engage in these types of activities moving forward. And they have stayed true to trying to keep this foremost, offering other ways to differentiate mechanics other than color. For example, in the latest Endwalker 24-man raid, the yellow and blue circles in the Nofika fight are also represented by circles and triangles. When it comes to things that Final Fantasy XIV can improve upon when it comes to accessibility, however, you get as many different opinions as there are people in the world, because everyone's needs are different. As someone who has never used any third-party tools, I can't speak for the role they play in making the game more accessible, but I can agree that offering additional coloring options for the standard ground AoEs would be crucial as even though I have no difficulty with color differentiation, even I struggle sometimes telling them apart from the backdrop, so I absolutely believe this would be a nightmare for someone who did. Working with people who are disabled, or who represent people who are, would give the team a broader view of what options they could add into the game in the future to make the biggest difference. But I'm optimistic, as they appear to be working in the right direction and seem open to making changes for the benefit of every Eorzean. Another thing they could do better is perhaps something we all struggle with, and that's spreading awareness of accessibility and disability in gaming. Do you have any idea how many people you partner with on a daily basis in Duty Finder who have a disability or who are using accessibility options? Do you ever consider this might be the case if you witness someone playing suboptimally, or who is struggling to stay alive or keep up with the rest of the party? I think we can all do with a reminder every now and again that most people who have issues are not likely to announce it with a macro at the start of every instance, although I've seen some who do. I'm struck by confessions of people who have called players out only to discover that they had some very serious health issues and were legitimately trying their best. So today, let's try to share the message with as many people as possible. Every single warrior of light hurts somewhere. We all have our own burdens and struggles in addition to the ones that we experience in-game. The best way to keep Eorzea accessible and welcoming to everyone is to be understanding of this. If you don't know why someone is struggling, assume the best and try to help. Or just ignore it and move on with your day. You don't want to be the person picking on someone who legitimately is trying their best despite physical disabilities, and you don't want to be the person making someone's crippling anxiety unbearable. 
Remember when you're going through 6.4 and into 7.0 that it was love that led our way to this point, and it will be love that helps us find our way home. If you want more information on Global Accessibility Awareness Day and the events that are taking place near you, check out the link in the description. Thank you for watching gamers, and I'll see you in game.